It's our familiar here. Let's see what's making news. What's happening in Ukraine? We meet a young environmentalist and an AFL Stars rescue mission. But before we get to all that, you know what I'm going to say, make sure you subscribe. So you might have heard there's been a bit going on between these two countries lately, Russia and Ukraine. Now Russian forces have moved into parts of eastern Ukraine. I'll let Kale fill you in. World leaders are worried. The Secretary General is greatly concerned by the decision by the Russian Federation. Russia should step back. What has happened is extremely bad news. They're talking about what's happening on the border of Russia and Ukraine, where there's been tension for a while. The two countries have a shared history, and in the past few weeks, more than 100,000 Russian troops have gathered along Ukraine's borders. Now, Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, has declared these regions of Ukraine independent states and sent troops in to control the area. World leaders say that's a bad sign, and they're worried a full-scale invasion of Ukraine is coming. After the announcement, some people fled the region, while others in the region, who welcome Russia's support, well, they stayed put. Russia's president says the forces are only there to keep the peace, but many are worried it could lead to something much more serious, unless other countries intervene. It is becoming clear that we're going to need to start applying as much pressure as we possibly can, because it is hard to see how this situation uh, improves. Men's world number one Novak Djokovic has won his first match of the year. He won in straight sets at the opening round of the Dubai Championships. You might remember Djokovic missed this year's Australian Open after a court battle over his visa. The star player says he still hasn't had his COVID-19 vaccine and that he won't be playing any tournaments that force players to be vaccinated. Let's take a trip to Queensland now and meet nine-year-old Elijah. His passion for saving the Great Barrier Reef has attracted the attention of some big-name celebrities. Leela caught up with him. What is your main inspiration behind, you know, working so hard and, and doing what you can to help the reef? So that when I'm older, I still get to see those amazing pics of the reef, but also for future generations, they also should get the glory and amazement to see the Great Barrier Reef. Yes, Elijah here loves the reef. It's got loads of biodiversity and many marine creatures. Those creatures depend on the Great Barrier Reef. Recently, he was named an ambassador for a program he volunteers with called Coral Watch, which aims to create awareness about the natural wonder. I was really excited, and especially because I'm the only kid that's ever become an ambassador. I sent Billie Eilish a video message asking her if we could use her amazing song, Ocean Eyes. Her people got in touch with Coral Watch and then Coral Watch got in touch with us and told us that Billie Eilish had said yes and we were very excited that he had said yes. He's also got a handwritten letter from David Attenborough after recently writing to his hero. All his documentaries I've probably watched about five times and he hopes to one day make his own. To teach more people about the world's natural wonders, just like David Attenborough. Today, we're celebrating superheroes for their bravery, their desire to do good, and sometimes just because they can fly. AFL star Patrick Dangerfield has saved three people from dangerous surf off a Victorian beach. The Cats player noticed the swimmers, including an 11-year-old girl, struggling in the water. So he grabbed a surfboard and paddled out around 400 metres to save them. He stayed with them until Surf Lifesavers arrived, who helped them safely to shore. Instinct kicks in and grab a, grab a board and, and paddle out there and make sure everyone's OK. What a hero. These soldiers in the US are taking on a brave new challenge. They're training to be nursing assistants. Charlie, Charlie, are you talking? The country's dealing with a shortage of healthcare workers, so the National Guard has been called in to retrain and help. And they call him the real life Iron Man. His actual name is Richard Browning, and the British inventor is famous for his incredible jet suit. He entertained crowds in Dubai while promoting the opening of the city's Museum of the Future. 
Well, that's all for news break today, but don't you worry, we'll be back with more for you tomorrow. See you then. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you're still there. Are you still there? Hopefully.